Bow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I got a special guest for you guys. Dre, AKA Dre the Q. He's an artist manager, also an owner of Pivotal Branding. He has multiple clients that he works with, one primarily being Digital Nas, who's worked with Lil Yachty and ASAP Yams. We'll go a little bit more into those things later on, but I promise you this is gonna be a super great interview. I was humbled to be able to sit down and record this conversation. We're gonna to touch on things like what it takes to be a good manager. You'll definitely have insight into the mind of a manager we're also even talking negotiations getting brand deals and just hustling all together also i gotta mention that i'm in between locations for these interviews but the information is the most important part and i promise you this information is super impactful so let's go ahead and hop into this i will see you at the end how did you even get into the game as a manager in the first place ah uh, man um I mean, I've always been a music guy, I've always okay. been a music person. And, uh, you know, like I actually teach at this school where I teach music production and I started developing these producers, developing yeah, yeah, yeah. these producers. And throughout their career, I've been guiding them. So it kind of just, okay. you know, it just happened. Me and my frat brother formed a company that he was already managing. And, uh, okay. you know, from there it just took off and, you know, it actually works. <laughs> just parlay right into it. Yeah, like it just happened. You know? So you were just teaching. Yeah, yeah. Teaching production and Correct. then yeah, roll right, right yeah. into it. Students started doing well. <laughs> All right, with that being said, <laughs> All right, so it's, it's funny because just hearing it like that, you almost think you would have some kind of grand strategy because you kind of you're at the pulse right here, building yeah. up these students. Uh, would you say there's any particular way into the game? Because were you planning that out to do it that way? Nah, man. There's. People get in the game all different kind of ways, you know. Some yeah. of them, some of them start as assistants and develop certain qualities. That's real, you know. And next thing you know, they get an opportunity. Right. You know, some of them are the tour bus drivers, and you know, <laughs> like, it's like for real. So it's like, you know, there's no set strategy. I think kind of anybody can get in the game. You know, if you just go about the right way and learn. You're more on the business side right now, mm -hmm. uh, but what about for an artist? Do you think the artist has any particular way to get to the game? Because people are always asking me personally. How do I get into the game? What do I do? Uh, from an artist standpoint, I think it's um, a matter of one, having content that's okay. worth listening to. Right. You know, two is you got to get out there, you know, like yeah. you got to really be out there, like especially, you know, where we're at, we're located in Atlanta. You know, there's a lot of different opportunities out there. Right. Um, but there are a lot more artists out there trying to get on, trying to get on. Everybody's on the ground. Everybody's hustling. Um, I think from an artist standpoint, you know, what makes you different is going to have you stand out. Gotcha. You know, so what are, go ahead and tell them the, the artist that you manage at the time, because I know some people are like, who is this guy? Yeah, the artist I manage right now is a client, Digital Nas, uh, you know, producer, rapper, uh, pretty much got this young wave on lock right now. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. And um, he's worked with Yachty, right? Yeah, Yachty, ASAP Ferg, Trippy Red, yeah, PNB Rock, uh, Playboy Cardi. Uh, man, <laughs> Any, anybody you name it, man. Anybody in this this whole young generation of rap, right. man. He, he, he's touched. He's and, I, touched. and I know. Um, Nas and Yachty did a collab collab project that was dropped last year, right? Uh, that was like like two years ago. Oh, like two, two years, years ago. Lost now? Files EP, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And when I listen to Nas, well, so he's a producer primarily, but he raps too. Is he trying to? Well, he does both, okay. but the production kind of just took off. That took you off know, first. It, it took off first, so it's like, all right, cool. Um, but you know, right now we're in the lab every day. Okay. You know, we're producing and we rap and getting better at both of them. Got you. So that's, that's perfect because I run into a lot of artist managers and I know people probably hear a lot from artist managers just when they watch and look up information. Yeah. But you managing a, a producer, how do you market a producer? Ah, uh, man. I mean, it's just a matter of, um, I say dealing with Nas. Um, you know, everybody's different. Everybody's different. Everybody's gonna have different qualities. Yeah. Some people may be the producer that you never see. They might just stay in the studio. You know, then that's it. And then you have some producers who, who are out there who are actually, you know, they actually develop a personality. Right. You know, outside, right. you know, outside of those four walls of being in the studio. Yeah. Um, and so he actually has a personality, man. Like he's out there and the, the kids flock to him, the, the young, the young that's generation. Right. And they flocked to him, so from that point, it was like, okay, cool, let's capitalize on it. Okay. Yeah, because I see him be on this skateboard Yeah, shit. And, and, and that's a whole nother, it's a whole nother market. <laughs> yeah. Skateboard and that skateboard life. And, you know, we'll, we'll go to Cali 
shoot some skateboard videos and stuff like that or okay. you know sometimes he'll just tweet like hey meet me at this skate park and like kids will show up you know they want to be affiliated because it's you know that's what they do it's pretty cool so he stays engaged with his oh, fans yeah, and followers yes yeah. yeah, that's, that's our top priority gotcha. <laughs> so how do you what does a plan look like because he's where he is right now mm -hmm. what does a plan look like as far as building off of what y'all currently have uh, right now just being uh, you know strategic you know, being strategic with the moves, because yeah. you know, as you start to develop a buzz, more people start to come around, and they want to be involved, and they want to, you know, right, they right. want to do this, they want to do that. Um, so, what I like to do is, you know, the pros and cons. You know, you know, whether the pros and cons are linking or working with this person, or whether the pros and cons are linking or working with that person or that company. Um, so, pretty much, we sit back and we kind of just see where we want to go, like where we okay. want to go. And what this can lead to, what that can lead to, whichever one is the best marketing move or business move, you know, financially and brand wise, you know, because, you know, you want to be associated with, with great things. You know, wanna, you know, I try not to be associated with things that's going to limit other things. Exactly. So you know? let's break that down, because yeah. this is like the point of these is really for the artist to understand as much of the back end mentality yeah. as possible and just know the game so they don't take offense to certain things or just yeah. even you know get a little bit of discouraged when what does that back end conversation look like let's just say an artist or a producer whoever reaches out to mm -hmm. um you know digital nas what do you as a manager because it's a little bit easier to you know when you're reaching out to artists specifically sometimes but i know especially when they have a team the team might be, be saying this look isn't a good look or Hey, we're focused on this right now. We don't care, but we don't have time for this yeah. new person, random person reaching out. Yeah, and, and sometimes you do have to say no. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes you do have to say no in order to, you know, stay along with that vision because, mm -hmm. you know, the little quick couple thousand dollars here, yeah. you know, we don't want to interrupt the, the big bag. You know, mm -hmm. we, wanna, we don't want to interrupt the big corporate sponsorship or the business partnership, gotcha. with, you know, X, Y, and Z because we're spending time with this. Um, so... And like I said, we get a lot of young artists, and that's one of the things about Nas is, you know, like a lot of the young artists are coming to him because they like, hey, Nas is, you know, Nas is probably one of the youngest producers that's touched this whole generation. You know, yeah. it's probably maybe about two or three guys that's in this generation and this, you know, this new age music, yeah. you know, that he hasn't really touched, but he's been around. Um, so like I said, it, it, it's just a matter of, man, you just got to look at everything from two different perspectives, you know? Okay. Like, if you jump at the first thing, you might miss out on something else. And right. it's like, dang, now I'm stuck with this first thing. And, yeah. You know, a lot of times it might not be worth it. You know, it might not be worth the time, the, the headache that may come with it. So, so how about if I'm an artist mm -hmm. or, or a producer, I don't know if the approach will be different and I'm reaching out to Nas and I'm on a come up. Mm -hmm. What's the best approach to reach out to somebody like a Nas or an artist where the manager doesn't say like, nah, we, we can't do that. And, and then maybe following up, what's the best approach to coming to somebody like you and not being completely, I don't know, it would be mentorship, whatever they're trying to look for. But yeah, what, make, what makes you all more receptive to people? Yeah, I, I look at it from, you know, how how, how I do. Um, Cause you know I'm still on a come up as well. You know I'm I'm a lifelong learner. You know yeah. I'm learning every day. You know where I find out where the people that I want to be like or the people that I want to get knowledge from. I find out where they are, mm -hmm. and that's where I go. Mm -hmm. You know, so if they're gonna be at this spot, if this event is going on, is that event? You know, pretty much just being to know, like yeah. like know what's going on around yeah. you and stuff. Because you know if you really want it, you would know what's going on around you. But so you know from that aspect, you know now of course there's lines of communication. You know, phone numbers and emails and stuff like that. You know, we do check emails. You know, we do check emails, and a lot of times it's not really, it's not really worth the time because you know you have a lot of, you know, a lot of on the come up independent artists. They're probably not, you know, financially stable mm -hmm. to make sure that their music is maybe mixed down correctly. You mm -hmm. know, you know, I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had a lot of different situations. I've had people. You know, call me on the phone, singing over the phone. You know, I've had people <laughs> send a voice memo. You know, and it's yeah, like, yeah. All, right, all right, cool, like nah, like. But you know, like I said, you know, I, for me, it's like, you know, what are we focusing on? You know, right. what, you know, what are we focusing on as a team, as as a brand itself? You know, what are we focusing on? So, yeah, I mean, like I said, just I, I, I me personally, I say just staying in the know. Like you need to know what's going on, when it's going on, and and there's a lot of free stuff out there. So it's not yeah. like it's one of those. Oh, I gotta pay X amount of dollars to yeah. be in this spot. Exactly. You know, there's a lot of things going in this, especially in the city of Atlanta and you know, all major cities. So, you know, I think if somebody really wanted to get in contact with somebody, you can. Like we in Atlanta. 
Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? We in Atlanta. I mean, you can right. get, you know, you, you can find out things. You know? That's real. So, okay. Um, this is something I wanted to make sure I, I remembered to ask because someone asked me to ask. What makes a good manager, in your opinion? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I think a, like a, good, a good manager like me, like I, I have a lot of mentors. And, okay. you know, I have a lot of mentors. I surround myself with people that's been there and that's done it that's better than me. Yeah. Um, just to make sure I do make sure I do the right things. Right. You know, so when I think, you know, a good manager is somebody who's who, who's gonna do the who's gonna make the best decision for the overall team. You know, not the best decision for him or not the best decision, you know, me, I think longevity. Yeah. You know, versus right now. Right. You know, so I, I think good managers are are those guys who's zoned in, who's focused, who's knowledgeable. You know, you know, knowledgeable is <laughs> That's one of the biggest things, you know what I mean? Like being yeah. knowledgeable because this thing change every day, you know, technology and new waves and see deals going this way, deals exactly. going that way. And you know, I, I think being 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 knowledgeable and you, and you do want a manager that's kind of connected, you know. Right. Um that's kind of connected. Not saying that managers aren't, you know, aren't good if they're not connected, but you only can go so far. You know what I mean? You only can go so far like that, you know, you'll start to reach a ceiling, like, all right, cool, I need to do something else to get to the next level. And it's a very, it's, it's, it's very few that actually do it, you know what I mean, and actually blow up or something like, you know what I mean, like mm -hmm. they actually blow up versus taking those, you know, those baby steps, learning, 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 because mm -hmm. sometimes they just fall in your lap and they just fall in your lap. Gotcha. You know. So when you talk about connections, I mean, you basically kind of laid it out that it's pretty important, but how... How vital do you need to be able to just create new connections? Or, I mean, do, do people kind of black people out sometimes, almost blackball them if they don't have the connections? Well, it's not blackballing. You just probably won't be able to get into reach. Mm. You know, like, you know, you, yeah. you might need, if you need to know the, the head person over here, you know, you probably can't. You know, if you're not that connected, then you probably can't figure the info out. You know, right. you probably can't get close to them. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes you might need to make a phone call to make a phone call that somebody else can make a phone call. Gotcha. Um, that's happened to me plenty of times. It's like, <laughs> dang, man, someone's going to answer the phone. Yeah. So, you know, I noticed the right number. And then I make one phone call like, yo, like, boom, boom, boom. And it's like, all right, cool. You know, it's kind of like a, a validation standpoint, right, you know right, what I mean? Because right. like, what this guy calling my phone? You know, is it really worth it? And, yeah. You know, having that mentorship or having that cosign. You know, it's kind of like artists, like a lot of artists get on from cosigns. Perfect. So management kind of is the same way, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like, like I said, sometimes it just falls in your lap, you know, but sometimes, it, you know, so a lot of people take different routes, you know. So my route, you know, I just make sure I got good mentors around me, make sure, you know, I learn from different situations that I've been in and make sure that I'm included, you know, in, in their situation so I can see how they handle certain things. Gotcha. So therefore, when, when I get approached with that, I know what to say, how to say it, Got you know, it. And I know, and I know what not to say as well. That's know? real. So, what was your speaking of? All right, what not to say then? What was like one of the biggest mistakes you feel like you made at at some point? Uh, well, I had to learn the hard way that uh, the first person to speak money loses. Mm. You know, the first person to talk money loses. You know, and and now that was a learning lesson. You know, that was a learning lesson because it was like, dang, I could have got what. Oh, dang. Um, you know, yeah. my mind said I was thinking this was a lot. Yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? Man. Meanwhile, I could have got <laughs> this much, you know, but like I said, now it's a learning lesson. So, yeah. you know, now I'm able to negotiate better things and stuff like that. But like I said, I, if I didn't go through that, you know, I wouldn't know how to right. negotiate, you know, some of this stuff that's coming my way now. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because like I said, Nas is growing, my other clients are growing, so the business is growing, like I'm growing. So, you know, it's a pretty good situation. So then, when you talk about negotiations, mm -hmm. Nas is a producer. How do you get brand deals? Because everybody wants to get brand deals these days. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's either touring, brand deals. That's what are the main two things where people are looking to get that money from. So how do you get those? Uh, I mean, from my experience, you know, most people go, you know, my experience, I can only speak on that. Um, but from my experience, I think your client or your artist or whatever you are, producer or whatever, I think you have to, you have to kind of show something, you know, you have to have, it's just this type of energy that certain people give off that, uh, that, that want, that people want to be a part of, you know, like, you yeah. know, like say like Nas is, he, he's big on the skateboard, he's, you know, he, you know, he's okay. big on the skateboard, he's a part of the young culture, you know, he's a part of that, that fashion culture, you know, he's a part of all of that, so it's like, cool, let's put our brand on him, you know, let's put our brand on that, so, yeah. so now it's like, okay, cool, because like, 
like once you you know actually like i said develop some kind of influence you know what i mean like you have some kind of influence right you know it, it doesn't hurt to partner with somebody else who could take that influence bigger or you know, you know they could take it to another level you know part of them they all reach out to them or um wait for people to I, i've reached out to a few but like i said like now like it's, they come to us a little bit you know what i mean because now we're kind of like all right, cool. We're proving ourselves. Like, yeah. Okay, we got one record. We got two records. We got three records. Okay. Now the name is getting hotter. The buzz is getting bigger. Like you know, uh, the buzz is getting bigger. So it was like now they're like, oh man, we slept on it. Mm. So now yeah. they come back. <laughs> so now now they negotiate. Yeah. So it's like you know, like you know, it's all good. But you know, like that bag on me a little bit bigger. The price too. went up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Since then, so okay. You know, that's what's up. And if they want to be a part, they're gonna be a part. And have you? ever reached out to somebody a situation and it actually worked out though um yeah yeah i, I can't i can't say yeah um but that it actually worked you know i reached out i reached out to somebody and it actually worked because of the hustle and the facetime that they knew about me mm. like i didn't know that person okay but that person when he when he when, when, when i reached out you know it was in person you know it's like oh yeah you be everywhere you be here okay. you be there you be there you be there i'll be seeing you i'll be wondering what you do yeah and then it's like yeah man like boom 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 boom, boom. And it's like all right cool let's meet monday and it's like great lunch all right cool okay so you, know, you already kind of cut some of it out there just from your yeah like i said you know like just being in the know like just knowing right. what's going on being in the know I mean, I'm a very humble person, you know, right. I, I, like I said, I learn every day, man, like every day I'm trying to see what's new, every day I'm with my mentors hanging out, you know, you know, like all my mentors are older than me, so you know what I mean, like I'm, <laughs> I'm learning all the time, man, like I think that's a perfect, um, but you mentioned mentors so many times yeah, in this man. conversation. I will, I'm, I'm telling you, man, like I, every, every situation I've been a part of from from teaching music production to being a band director to college, you know what I mean? Like it said to now, man, everything's been like mentorship, mentorship, you know, let me learn this before I just hop in it and say, right. I do it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Let me, you know, and that's what we have a lot of that going on. And that's why you have a lot of failures, you know, right. um, you know, I saw this post the other day that, you know, management is not an entry level job, <laughs> you know, and, and yeah. because, because, you know, if, if you if you're with the right person, you know, you might not be the right manager, you know right. what I mean? So it might be smart to maybe, you know, go get a mentor that can help you along the way. So, yeah. you could, so when those things come to the table, you're just not saying ridiculous things and you're just not, you know, like blowing people off and, yeah. you know, saying the wrong thing, rubbing people the wrong way because you feel, you know, however way you feel. So, like I said, my mentors, man, like everything like <laughs> you know what I mean like that's one thing I can't say people know that about me too they be like man like how you know this person like I'm a mentor how you know that person I'm a mentor like yeah. I'm about to be 30 years old like I'm, I'm gonna have a mentor forever like yeah. you know and okay. that, that's just something about me like I'm always partnering with people that's you know been there that's done it genuine people that's, that's real you know like genuine people because you, you got a lot of people that that don't like to bring the young ones up mm. you know what I mean because yeah. it's like alright this guy gonna take my spot you know, but then you got the, you got the, you got some people that actually realize like I ain't gonna be here forever. You know, so let, at least let me bring somebody younger up that's still gonna take care of me, and I'm mm -hmm. still gonna be affiliated. I'm still gonna be in the know. You know, because you know, I think that's where we at as a culture now. You know, with this with the industry. You know, the old can young, the old can learn from the young, the young can learn from the old. Right. You know, we work together. You got an amazing situation. That's real and. But you having to like develop so many, it just sounds like, you said it's been integral to your whole life, just yeah. always having mentors. What's the approach you've taken consistently? Because I always hear people trying to get mentors and they make it seem like it's impossible, but you seem like you've done it. Um, done yeah, it. I mean, it's not impossible, man. It's just, you gotta understand that um, time is valuable. Mm. So, you know, you, you asking somebody for their time, you know, you need to have something of value. Like, you know, you know, a lot of people just say they want mentors just so they can have somebody to put them on. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, this ain't no shortcut. Yeah. Right? This ain't no shortcut. Like, you know, and a lot of people, you know, they intern and they want to get paid right now. It's like, mm -hmm. you got to learn first. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. uh, one thing I've learned is to, you know, be of value, you know, like actually have value in yourself in the room. Like if you left the room with something, leave with you. Because if everything stays the same, then I don't need you. 
You know what I mean? If everything yeah. stays the same, nothing changes, everything operates, yeah. then, you know, what What good are you? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, and that's where a lot of people, a lot of people fail because it's okay. like they, they sit back and they just, you know, wipe the blinds, sweep the floor. You know, it's like, cool, wipe the blinds, ask a question. Sweep the floor, ask a question. You know, set up the session, ask a question. Gotcha. You know, so when it's time for you to maybe step in or you might get your shine over that person say what you think you know be ready I you know something to say. like be ready like right be ready you know show some kind of you know uh initiative like that you really want this you realize you're not wasting my time that you're not just an employee mm. you know because at the at the end of the day i just don't want an employee just around like you know i want somebody who's just as passionate as me that's real you know i want somebody who's not going to be a yes man mm. and just be like yeah that's cool <laughs> yeah that's dope you know what i mean yeah. like if it ain't dope, tell me it's not dope because yeah. I don't want to put, spend money on it and waste our time and put it out and, and it flops so mm -hmm. it doesn't do as well as everybody thought it was going to do. Excuse me. Do as well as everybody thought it was going to do. But like, like I said, mentors, like I said, just going to the right spots, you know, going to the right spots. Uh, for me, it took time. You know, I'm very beneficial, you know, my fraternity. Um, but he, even with that, you know, being in a fraternity, like that really... That really put me in a different space, mm. you know. But even I had to weed through my fraternity, like you know, even my older fraternity brother was like, "Okay, is, is Dre worth my time? You know, is Dre worth my time, or he yeah. just here just to get a handout?" Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. This ain't no handout kind of thing. Like this is something that is like, because I know if I put you on, I'm changing your life, pretty much. You know, that's, like, that's you right. know, if I put you on, that's I'm changing right. your life. So I need to, you know, I need to know are you really like here to work and go and grind and be down with the team, have some sense of loyalty. Right. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. And that's where that's what I said, that's where a lot of people fail, you know. That's so I was just with the uh homeboy last night and he's a manager too. Mm -hmm. And he was doing this little segment and loyalty. He had this whole segment on loyalty. So I would love to hear <laughs> what you think about loyalty in this game and how it really how that looks like how loyalty and disloyalty plays out. Um, with loyalty, man, like I said, loyalty, a lot of people have a lot of different definitions of loyalty. Mm -hmm. You know, my definition of loyalty and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm down regardless. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm down regardless. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. You know, if I feel it's a bad idea, it's a bad idea. Yeah. You know, because I think if I lie to you, that's being disloyal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's if I say, oh, man, it's dope, man. Put it out there. Spend $10,000 on it. And I know deep down <laughs> that it's not good, that right. it sucks, that it's not of quality. You know, it's not of good quality. You know, I think that's being disloyal, letting people do things that you know would hurt them. Mm -hmm. So me, like I said, you know, I try to guide, you know, I try to guide the best way. And like with all my clients and all my people that I rock with, you know, I'm honest, like, hey, I think it should be done this way. I think it should be done that way. I think this makes more sense for the fans or for you or as a brand, period. You know, and like I said, riding with that team, not forgetting the, the positions where, that you've been put in. You know, like even with all my mentors, man, that's why, like I said, I always pay homage, man. Like when people say, oh, how you did this? How you get next to that person? I saw you doing that. I saw you with X, Y, and Z. It's like, oh man, you know, I'm, I'm just blessed to be in the room, man. My mentors <laughs> put me in the room. Like, yeah. My mentors were like, come on, Dre, you can roll, you cool. That's real. You know, just because they know I, they know I'm not gonna get in there and like try to take selfies and you know what I mean, look crazy <laughs> wow, stuff. Wow. Like, yeah, like yeah. you know, and like I said, we all have that inner, so you know, the inner um, being you know celeb struck or whatever. But it's like you know, just gotta hold it in. Like you gotta act like you've been somewhere before. Play the part. You know what I mean? Act like you've been somewhere before, and then. After a couple times, it's like, yo, what he do? Yo, what's your name? Who yeah. You? Where you from? Oh, okay, you so-and-so boy. Oh, man, that's what's up. I need somebody that do this, that do that. Word. Take my number down. Cool. But, you know what I mean? Just by being in the room. But don't ever forget who put you in the room. You know? Why forget. is that? Uh, like, like I said, man, like at, at any point, this thing could change. You know, by me putting you in the room, your life could change. Like, you never know. Like... Like, for instance, uh, me DJing, you know, a lot of people don't know that I DJ, um, but I DJ for Shaquille O'Neal, mm -hmm. you know, my mentor, was, was my mentor is his sports agent, and he needed a DJ, and, you know, I teach the music class, and I, you know, I teach DJing a little bit, but I'm, you know, I'm no DJ getting up there scratching and stuff, and he's right, like, man, right. why don't you do it, man, stop trying to, you know, because me, I had a problem, I was putting everybody before me. You know, that was just, just been in my nature. You know what I mean? Like, I'm putting everybody before me, putting yeah. everybody before me. And I was looking for DJs. Like, yo, like, I got a gig for you. 
you know, boom, boom, boom. And everybody was like, nah, man, nah, I'm cool, nah, I'm good. And I'm like, Word. sure. That's crazy. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I did it. And next thing you know, man, like, I, I'm trying with the world, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> DJing, you know, the microphone, and DJing and stuff. So, um, but, you know, there's only c- certain events that I do, you know, because right. of time, time frame. That's not your main thing. Yeah, nah, that's just, you know, the team flying out to this place, the team flying out to that place, yeah. NBA All-Star Weekend, you know, little things like that. So, um, so yeah, man, like I said, you can't ever forget who put you in the room because, like I said, a matter like that, it could change, man. Man. You know, just by getting the phone number. Okay. You know, an email address, or, you know what I mean? Or a That's picture, real. you know, a picture, man. You know, a picture goes a long way nowadays, you know. I'm <laughs> a long way, man. Like, That's very real. All right, all right. I hope that was super helpful for you guys. There were a few key takeaways I personally got from the interview. Focus was a big one, making sure that you keep that focus and don't get distracted by those little bags so you can get to that big bag. And I'm all about that big bag. Loyalty is a thing that's really going to help you have longevity in this game. And on top of that, just mentors, mentors, mentors. It sounds like from what he was saying that the mentors are the keys to opening them doors. Man, I should be a rapper because that was off the top of the dome. I'm, I'm smooth with it, y'all. Dre the Q. Follow D-R-E-D-A-Q. Dre the Q. Dude, super humble. You can tell by just listening to the interview that obviously he's going places and will be in this game for a minute. Networking is what it's all about. Don't spam, buddy, for no reason. I do have a part two of this interview coming soon. And trust me, if you like this one, you're going to like the next one. Hey, and while I'm talking about likes, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you like it, then share it. And if you aren't subscribed, y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.